Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of uh, this mod. Today I got a treat for you as we are continuing to liberate North Africa, which was our starting region. Uh, if we take a short look at it, uh, we are currently at Vigilance 11 rating, which means uh, the aliens are completely and utterly freaking out about the um, amount of activity that we're having within uh, North Africa. And that means they are going to send troops after troops after troops into it. So it's time to actually liberate it. And this mission here is going to be the starter for the final steps of the liberation. Down, secure the surrounding area and remove all enemy security forces guarding the target. All goes Good, the here we are. Straight into the mission. Uh, it's a little difference to the normal, um, to the normal tower mission. Because we actually need to uh, to kill every single enemy here, and we're going to proceed doing exactly that by taking nice little cover positions. First things first. Let's take a direction. I think we're going to go into this direction. Feels like there might be the first pack up there. Once we establish that no danger is coming from there, might as well move up and get everyone in position. I'm pretty uh, confident regarding the abilities of our team, but just overall need to make sure that we're that we're not um, fighting more than one or two squads at uh, squads at a time. So we're fighting against, I think, 18 enemies. It was 16 to 18, if I'm not mistaken. So it's quite a quite a few enemies, but we got laser weapons and really solid armor. So this should not be a problem. I'd like to carefully breach it, and afterwards we're going on uh, top of it. Once we do have the building, Agreed. once we do have the building, we should be good to go. Yep, no one inside. And with the high ground here, uh, and the sniper with death from above, we should actually have a really, really good position. Let's do this. Edgarian Paul Rolling out. takes his position over here. Roger. Overwatch and done. There's a lot of alien activity and sooner and sooner or later they are going to walk into us. There we go, that's exactly what I was uh, thinking. Alien patrol here. Well, seems there are a few more than just a couple aliens there. Nice little full cover spot on both sides. On it. I'm on it. Scanning. No one gets by me. Got it covered. Let them move into different directions. I don't want to deal with um, eight or nine enemies. This here is a good opportunity. Our oppressors patrol near here. That's two packs, not just one. 
and that's the third one. Like I said, fighting against two, okay, fighting against three, maybe a little bit too much. We're being cornered here, but no need to panic. We're going to Overwatch. If they really trigger us, they at least take a full a full Overwatch um, south uh, into the into their faces. So pretty sure that sooner or later the mechs are going to walk into us. It's just what mechs do. But we should be fine with the mechanical units. These guys here should walk off. To be to be frank, we don't want to fight them. And these guys here are pretty far away. One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, you know, they are going to continue moving over here. So the question is, are we alpha striking? And essentially killing those guys? Or are we waiting? What's our chance here? Pretty damn low. But we could shut down the drone without being detected. That's That means the drone is at least not here for the next turn. On the other hand, this pack just moved, moved away. So short of Zirkim here, <coughs> Who can see them? Uh, everyone else cannot. Let me think that through. Is that worth an engagement? We would kill this guy here with one shot. Mm, and then it's time to deal with the with the max. You know, even more important than the guy is to kill the mech. So that's why I... That's why I would want to start with the mech first. If we're not doing anything, next turn they are going to move into us. And we are going to have a firefight. But we, we will get at least four overwatches off. Um, at the risk of maybe pulling a third pack. I think we're going to continue with overwatching here. Got it covered. It's a close call. It, it's really a close call. And we're going to shut down this drone. Because it's 100% and it's not going to... Um, it's not going to blow our cover. Grab that block. I'm in. Okay. That is unexpected. I was sure that they would continue moving into our direction. Apparently that's not the case. 
and uh, the others went away as well. Hmm. You know, if we pull it now, the mechs are going to come in and we're fighting a single pack. I think that's worthwhile doing it. Why? Why are you not seeing them? Okay, so we know they are exactly here, right? Right. I don't even know if they are triggered. Apparently it is combat music. We're going to fortify. And we're overwatching because I don't want to move it right into them if they are stuck. Interestingly enough, they were not triggered. They just knew something was up. Now they are triggered. Okay, so the second pack is over here. <laughs> and the lost swarm appears. Interesting. Let's make sure we're we're killing the Mac. It's uh, my position. You're not allowed to take a sniper position. You're a mech. Again, we have used some um, actions this turn. Don't want to overdo it. So instead we're reloading, overwatching. Three down, 13 to go. Oh, reinforcement. Ah, I just noticed there is a soft reinforcements timer. Okay, we gotta we gotta keep moving. We can't just let the reinforcements pile up. Perfect mission for loss to show up. If 
Fury is going in. He his sidearm does not cost any uh, ammunition, so reloading is not a problem. And with between the eyes, he can clean these guys up as long as he has a secure chance to hit them. Which he does not have on, uh, um, on a longer distance. Good, so much for the auto loader. We do have a solid position here, but overall, we got to move. Okay, I'll go. I'm on it. We still know that there are two further loss um, outside. We know there is a pack over here, so we gotta be careful as well. I would want to get death from above, so we're moving towards the high ground position. Reloading with Zirkim. Let's reload with Renvin. I don't want him to be out of ammunition. We need him next turn. Zirkim can take one overward shot because he can he can be useful even even if he um, is out of ammunition. Renvin kind of needs to go to the enemy in order to do something. This, by the way, is the most stupid place uh, for the loss to show up. Because that's kind of the central advent network tower station. I'm trusting you here. I've got it. Good. Three of them. Are over there. Might as well take our high ground. Uh, might as well take our full cover. And trigger an another pack. That's how it's done. There's another pack here.
By the way, let's fortify ourselves. And luckily we killed the snake. We gotta deal with them right away. Target neutralized. Okay, so this pack over there is a problem. But we might just run out of line of sight. Back online. A protocol here to help her. Because she's definitely going to be um, shot at. Well, we could rush over, but I know there's another pack, so no point in doing that. I really thought the house would be a good idea, because close quarters would have given him chances for... effectively chances um, for melee combat. But it turned out it wasn't, maybe it wasn't the best idea, I don't know. Renman needs cover. And we need to let those guys come into our direction. This here is full cover, high ground. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's kill the engineer. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. Taking fire over here. I can't move. Wow, that's not good. Okay, as always, our sniper was caught in transition. Second time that that happened. Oh, and yet again, we can't reach it. Moving into full cover, I don't want to continue staying there. You gotta trigger the overwatch, which this here should do. Problem with uh, staying over here is the Viper can flank us, but then again, we do have plenty of hit points. Let's deal with the Viper first. Right on the margins. Did we kill it? No, we did not. Ok, 
Okay, we're taking high co uh, high um, full cover in survivor. Let's see if we can actually kill it. 50-50. Well, should have done that before I moved um, before I moved the Templar. We're taking some substantial damage here. And we're now looking at reinforcements. It's definitely not uh, working as intended. He's the one who should be tanking them. Fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. Fortify up. Moving over here. High ground fifty fifty. Zirkim takes an aid protocol. And the healing. Because he's currently tanking the guys from the other side. And really the question is, should we walk fire or light him up? The walkfire has a high percent chance to hit him, but it's a 50-50 to kill it. Might as well try it. It's better than the other option. Good, now that we got that, might as well parry here. We're slowly but surely getting our foot back to the ground, but it's a painful grind. And uh, I was hoping that the mission would go a little bit more smoothly when I when I saw that we're having 16 enemies here I was like yeah I know it's gonna be tough but we have really really nice equipment turns out yeah but the enemies are also getting incredibly tough with the um, with the power rating that North Africa currently is having Okay. We cannot enable our sniper at the moment, which means we need to reposition her. Let's position ourselves in full cover here. And deal with the advent sergeant. Good starting point.
We need more ammunition. Alright, Renman, come on, buddy. Yeah, I was... I was hoping we would find a better angle. So the good shooting angles are over here. Moving into cover, into full cover. Alright, so... Either we're going for him, or we're helping out on the other uh, side. I, I'm not terribly afraid about the Advent Troopers yet. So how about we kill him and what's the plan then? Uh, we can't take the loot. Good, we're up to two uh, focus. It's a messy slugfest. Sniper hunkers down. We really don't want her to be hit at all. They are forced to move. That's a single move, he can t still take a shot. That's a single move. Luckily we got armor. Wow, really? Was I was changing? my position to have better angles and then it didn't work. Moving her into full cover up here. Zirkim reloads. Zirkim has pretty decent shots and could kill both of them. A protocol for our sniper. I just want to make sure that she's not accidentally being targeted. Killing our trooper, uh, killing that trooper here. Killing this trooper here. Mm, missing. Well, that is unfortunate. We don't want to charge too far in. percent kill wait a second and he has 
cover. Um, yeah, he's covered from us, so I'm not going to go for him. That's a hit, but not a kill. We don't want to move in deeper than that. And I tell you what, I think there is even a benefit of parrying because we do have a 50% chance of deflecting afterwards and we still got our full health. Or we are moving him into semi cover. Yeah, no, let's parry. I think it's the right decision. Flashbang. What's going on? My bearings. Well, everything very soon became chaotic, and soon there will be reinforcements. By the way, just in case it's get it's becoming worse, just a precaution. Finally, high ground. Unfortunately, too much defense. Understood. Moving out. Let's try to hit the scout. Difficult to hit this guy uh, whilst being disoriented. Reloading. Yeah, we can't even move anywhere, so might as well overwatch. Good. Which means we got a parry. And next turn we are going to continue to move. And we'll we'll follow and kill this guy. So we had three mechanicals over here. We had a pick of uh, three vipers and four enemies here, so that's three ten. That was a pick of three over here as well, which is thirteen. Probably having only one more pack. We took some damage which was expected, but probably the beginning was just really unfortunate. Wow, this guy could move quite a, uh, quite a bit. Okay, let's move a little bit, and whilst we're at it, this might sting a little. let's heal up.
the main reason why I want to move is to get our sniper the lone uh, wolf bonus back. She currently does not have that. Needs to be uh, seven f uh, seven tiles away from the next unit. Okay, so that would be another pair of reinforcements. I, am watching. I would simply say we're reading them with an overwatch trap. And let's hope that we kill all of them. I think there is still one more pack which we need to defeat, and then the mission would be over. Unfortunately, we took uh, too much damage, so there will be some recovery time between now and uh, the final mission. And this team here, as good as it is in a prolonged firefight, it's definitely lacking the ability to remove cover with explosives. Well, good shit on uh, on the reinforcements. They certainly won't bother us anytime soon. Okay, I feel confident that we can move on. That's the last pack. What are we dealing with? Vipers. Let's try sniping the gunner. You know, I think we're... Hmm. He's more mobile. Let him go here. I think we're retracting and letting them come to our position. Yeah, that makes more sense. We do have immunity to their poison anyways. That's a solid double move in both of the cases. One of these guys can be killed with the Templar, the other one needs to die. A hopeful, uh, hopefully horrible death. Yep, that didn't work out. Let's try again. Sometimes 90% shots are missing. It's 
solid hit, but not enough to kill it, probably. Moving to here, giving ourselves 45. And let's try to kill this Viper. Thank you. Okay. Next up. Kill the other one with a melee attack. Advanced Suppressor and an Alarium Core. We're going to go for Parry and Edgar Alien Poe, who needs to hack the entire complex will uh, move up. Yeah, we're immune to that. This, did she really position herself uh, so that I can't climb up? Advent is learning. That is a smart snake. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. On the move. Moving up. I think we're unfortunately out of ammunition with everyone else. Hardly did anything. I'm ready. All right, fortify. Let's move to the window here. See, that's the big difference between a Templar and a zombie. A zombie would stand uh, downstairs and cry his eyes out because he couldn't reach you. Not so much with a Templar. There is still alien activity. We need to continue to move. Well, we can only do that once we've killed the Advents. Yeah, I think our position is fine. We're going to reload. Could move over here. Might as well do that. Affirmative. Moving out. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. Why are they landing behind us? Okay, so the one time where it actually would have mattered to kill them immediately, everyone here is choking, yeah? 
Ok. Let's get this guy down first. It's the only one that Fury can reach. All right, run and gun. Getting into a flanking position. You gotta hurry up. Lots of reinforcements are coming in. Moving back up with Fury. I think there's only one guy left. But there might be a pack and that is kind of the risk. Pretty sure there is only one enemy left. Okay, a tower. I think maybe we're done with the advents. Yep, so everyone, every advent soldier is dead. Meaning we can hack this one here. Yeah, dude, I'm doing that. Okay, reload. We're moving to here for the best potential shooting position. And Fury moves here just in case. One more round and then there are going to be new reinforcements. 
Vision is much harder than I remember it. I truly and honestly think we would pretty much rock it. Well, that was more intense than expected. Let's hope that the wounding time won't be too long. I think we should be fine. The sniper only lost two hit points. That probably is like two to four days. Um, Zirke might has uh, might be a little bit worse. He I think lost up to four hit points. Yeah, not sure. Okay, so that's a new objective. Well, I think that was a bit preemptive. So seven days for Zirgim, five for Heater. We get Field Medic, uh, Staff Sergeant as a new rank, with extra charges on the med kit. I like the face-off idea, but the damage or the precision fall-off is so massive. Got to get him a different sidearm. I like that as well. Arc wave was pretty damn good. I like a lot of these abilities. Amplify for stronger enemies is very helpful. Pillar does not end the Templar's turn. That might be something we could consider. We often find ourselves in a situation where not necessarily the Templar, but others are missing a good cover position. But I think we're going to go with Invert. Costs a focus, but uh, serves two purposes. First, it doesn't uh, end the Templar's turn, um, so we can we can essentially um, expose enemy an enemy that is like deeply in cover and secondly the Templar has uh, the option to join the fight whenever necessary so this fight essentially was a little bit too much running uh, after the enemy for my taste For Heater, there are a couple of options. Uh, Longwatch definitely is a really, really good option, uh, but we're, def we're first going the defensive route, making uh, partial cover, full cover. Uh, that helps in so many in so many circumstances. Got a conditioning, got an advanced suppressor, and two Alarium cores, so that's 40... That's 40... Um, Supplies right there. I wanted to go for the soldier bond. I saw a medical breakthrough that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the ill. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Cool. Of course. Go for the bond. Once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. Gotta take the photo. Sorry, guys. Such a troll photo.
Okay, we got a few wounds. Um, training center is happening. I would want to wait for training center. And we probably also need to wait for the laboratory upgrade. So we, fi uh, we finally found the Advent Black side, and this year is essentially now the fifth um, mission in the Liberation Chain, uh, which is the Advent Headquarter. That's an eight-person mission. I don't think that the maximum size is ten. I might be mistaken. Um, anyways, this is a pretty d a difficult mission. We're definitely going to attempt it, but uh, first... We gotta get our um, soldiers ready, and that means all of the other missions that are uh, currently running, specifically the ones that have high quality soldiers in them, need to continue. We're speeding up the process of healing. And that is huge, because now with the access to our training center. We got the train uh, the train abilities, which allows every single soldier to finally spend their personal spell uh, their personal ability points. Whew, that's a lot to go through. Um I think it's still for the benefit of the viewer. You know what? Before we field uh, the before we field the next mission, I hope that I can get a few more for out of the infiltration so that we can actually do it for more than just a few soldiers. And um, yeah, I hope that we can do uh, the uh, the other missions first, and then I'll I'll go for the training center. Um, I will definitely go into the training center before we uh, infiltrate the next mission. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our There's a new... Oh, reduce enemy strength. Nice. Operation Forgotten Tone, uh, and we get um, we get enemy material on top of it. So we're going to field that mission because I think that's uh, valuable. But in order to do that, we need A, soldiers, and B, we're going through the training facility. By the way, cool, we got our promotion and a scientist. Let's take a look. So we either get a faction hero. Um, I think the faction hero is still by far the best choice. Mobility plus one is helpful. How long would uh, that mission take? Only 10 days. Can we wait 10 days to liberate... Um, can we take? Uh, can we wait ten days to liberate? You know, I would say yes. Why not? We got a few missions, anyways. Going, uh, we have six days for Zirkum. So let's get Fury because he really needs mobility. Let's give him someone to support him. Um, Reaper, Grenadier, Shinobi, Assault, another Assault. Yeah, probably this Assault here after we level him up.
So, wait a second. Uh, that's... I... I need to find a good moment in time when we're doing the training center. Probably now is actually not too bad. Before we put uh, people into the uh, into the mission, because we're going to field another mission afterwards. So going uh, piece by piece, we're looking at the XCOM abilities. Face off definitely is good. I mean, we looked at his already because he theoretically could even without the training center because he's a hero class he could have uh, taken uh, the XCOM abilities. Um, all of these here are very gun focused and whilst I like it there is really nothing um, that is worth the ability points at the moment. Um, fanfire and face off are definitely really really good. Evasive is really really good. Um, Wait a second. Ooh, well that is that is good. That solves one of our problems. This here will not trigger reaction shots, but he can simply move uh, through enemy overwatches. I like it. Good. Next one, Renvin. Um, for him, it's all about really getting um, getting some of the abilities that support uh, that support his gun. And the first thing that I noticed, by the way, is very different than um, in the normal game. You cannot skill into into skills into uh, into equal skills on other tiers that is interesting because it uh, it makes still makes this uh, the the skills very very valuable this is good i like the critical um, strike chance but it's not 100 percent necessary phantom could be worthwhile for him uh, one free flashbang without reducing his movement, definitely worthwhile. And that here is probably the best for him because it also works with uh, shotguns. And it increases base damage by 50%, which then it again increases with critical strikes. So we're going for this. We still got 17 points left uh, open. Uh, we're going definitely going for Implacable later. I like the Guardian uh, piece. And Traverse the Fire is phenomenal, specifically since I think he has hit and run here. So as, uh, we could go Rapid Fire and Traverse the Fire. Um, I am considering the plus 10 aim is also not bad just for him to hit targets whenever he's a bit further away so let's take that uh, we're going to go maybe for the flashbang later good edgar alien poe uh, fortify is a no-brainer um, that is so good uh, such a um, so is rapid deployment both of them are actually no-brainers rapid deployment um, uh, uh, helps with the action economy this year is also good for him the only thing that is not really good for him is bigger booms i'm going to go fortify because it's the easiest way um, to get additional um, defense and once we have more points, we're going to skill the others. Um, as for her, formidable, super good, very, very good. <laughs> uh, this is just a flat out bonus. Um,
Yeah, this year isn't bad either. So actually all of the skills are really okay, with the exception of the field medic. All of the skills here are really okay for her as a sniper. Um, this here is more damage, and this here is essentially more survivability. We're starting with more survivability, but I like the 10% extra damage. And once we have more uh, ability points, we can even do that as well. So for him, a few uh, mm, items are good. I like damn good ground because I generally like high ground a lot, uh, but center mass is even better than that. Plus one damage with the standard gun is good. We're going to go uh, get damn good ground uh, once we have enough points. As for the Shinobi, That one here um, is decent, not that we would need it. This one here could be good as well, um, but I think we're going to save his uh, points because formidable and combat uh, fitness is much better. This here also can be helpful. Okay. For him, An extra smoke, yes, nice. All of that is okay, the grenades aren't bad. He's not going to take two shots unless he has light him up. Uh, mm. Or hit and run. Or traverse fire. In all of these cases, uh, lock them on is good. And I think it also works in between uh, turns, so wait a second. Hmm. This one here isn't bad either. It's a question, do we wait one more uh, level or do we... This has no immediate bo bonus, so might as well wait one level. This is awesome. Resilience is one of the best traits. Executioner is okay, but I think we're immediately going to skill for resilience. Minus 50% critical strike chance. That is just phenomenal. Precision shot for him is good. Costs a three uh, turn cooldown, but uh, since he's a damage dealer, precision shot um, essentially helps him and he's gifted he will get a lot of ability points shit shouldn't have done that uh, we just used XCOM ability points okay as for her lone wolf probably not happening that much and that's probably also not happening that much sprinter could be okay low profile low profile is definitely good um, bring him on is good, untouchable is good, serious is good. So all of these skills are good. Um, she currently just is not there yet. Um, yeah, same thing here. Not even sure if he has any good ability for him personally maybe covert but then again he's not really scouting sentinel definitely could be a thing and then together with uh, aim but he he's not there yet we already worked with her all right zirkim uh that's way more important um This here is just all around an awesome ability. Uh, essentially one armor that can't be reduced unless you're um, standing in the open. So we're definitely going to skill this one. Bombardier is okay. Um, aim is okay. And Smoker for him also is okay. But where Will to Survive is phenomenal. 
hard target is phenomenal uh, hit and run for him is very good and hail of bullets is also very good so his four abilities here are really really good going for roby roby damn good ground probably uh, the way to go for him um, the field medic mm, i'm not really seeing that lone wolf uh, i'm not seeing that either i can see locked on specifically together with rapid fire and uh, chain shot um, i can see that he has a lot of potential overwatch related stuff look at that kill zone yeah, we're not going kill zone, we're going rapid fire, so kill zone is not happening. But uh, two, rea uh, two reaction shots and 50% uh, uh, chance that another reaction shot is being taken, so this is really not bad. And aggression is also not bad, so the only thing that I currently can see is damn good ground, because I'm using a lot of high ground, the rest is nah, not yet there. Yeah, and that is probably explained how I would select abilities for um, for each of the character classes. We'll do that um, further as we go. But now we got a new mission, I think, which... No, that wasn't it. I think we had a new mission. There we go. Enemy material and seven days of preparation time. Let me get a good team together. But before we do that, I almost forgot so much uh, to, uh, to do and we wanted to get one mobility here on our Templar, getting the Skirmisher as a nice little bonus there, and he's being supported by an Assault. Good, now it's time to infiltrate. Good, let, let me double check and see who we whom we want to bring. Okay, it turns out that uh, we have we're way over infiltrated, but we do have two people that are going to recover in the next uh, six respectively ten hours. So let's be very careful with uh, the healing here. Oh, look at that. Grazing Fire grants several uh, enemies the ability to uh, use Grazing Fire. And this here would be an Intel plus Interruption um, event. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. And this is a raid on one of our facilities. Well, things are starting to uh, get a bit more difficult. Like I said, you can poke the bear only so many times um, until it begins to fight back. So let's start with the immediate one. Which is effectively this one here. Setting course for the South African we don't know how many enemies. The only question is should we immediately go in or should we wait just for a few more hours? And that very much depends on how long it takes to. So that's three hours here. And 13 hours here. 
let's get them because this here has like what a maximum of eight in a squad size and it's a straight up firefight might as well go in with eight So that's one and so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't blame seven. I wanted to keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. Seven. Okay, time to do that mission next. Avenger plotting new course. We could theoretically buy no soldier. Okay, got 12 hours left, more than enough time to to finish this. Let me find a squad so that we can start. All right, I got the team equipped, but since launching the mission essentially immediately launches the mission, and we're going to end the video here and we're continuing with that mission in our next uh, episode. Thank you so much for watching, have a great evening and goodbye.